All right, here we go. Today is Wednesday. I forget what date it was, but it's Wednesday of the week that's posted in the uh, title. Um, we got the tuner uh, cleaned up somewhat. We're going to need to do some additional cleaning on it because uh, it's a little bit more grimy and grody than than I can get access to right now. But it's been sitting and cleaned in the vat for a period. And um, we're going to go ahead and take this apart and show you the uh, individual pieces of it. Um, two, two screws right here on this side for that chinky there. Two screws on this side. Um, and uh, two bolts or two nuts on the studs right here that holds the uh, framework for the uh, tuner portion uh, down to this plate and holds the um, the slider uh, brackets for the uh, for the uh, actuator uh, for the clutch system on the tuner wheel so let me get that apart and we'll show you what we uh, what we got stand by okay here we are ah uh, here's the uh, the clutch actuator for the back side of this um, two bolt two two nuts remove the little lock washer on the thingy and uh, this here comes off the, the spring is goes on to that thing like that and comes over and hooks into one of these holes here uh, one of these holes here uh, to kind of retract this there retract this thing back and forth in this in this holder in these brackets uh, this is the your little saw blade that goes on the end of the tuner right there uh, two uh, set screws and a little bit of WD and give it a little wiggle wiggle and jiggle jiggle and a, a rap a tap tap and uh, it'll come right off the end of the shaft so we're gonna take and uh, clean these up the rest of the way and get them looking spiffied so stand by for that. We'll be back. All right, uh, got this clamshell off of the uh, the transformer, and it looks like it's been cooking. Uh, get some better light on it and see. Yeah, it looks like it's been cooking real good there on the outer bindings. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably the high voltage winding possibly it could be it could be the low voltage wire wiring to the 6 volt or the 5 volt even uh, so we're, we're gonna have to sorry about this <laughs> I got the zoom uh, on the phone up a little bit so I focus in a little better on this stuff and uh, consequently I can't point right so uh, we're gonna we're gonna fiddle de fart around with this here a little bit and see how deep this goes, and uh, and if it's gonna be a major issue, it might still be that the well, it could be shorting between the between the two the windings a little bit, I guess, causing some heat to build up there, and uh, it looks like it might have might have been smoldering so we're gonna to have to look into it a little bit more and see uh, make some tests so stand by and we'll we'll be back for more all right I checked the uh, I double checked the readings on the uh, resistance for all the uh, windings and they check out the original ones that I did before we did a power up and I replaced the uh, the power cord 
and brought it up. Um, it doesn't appear, there was one little, about three quarters of an inch up here at the very top, right up here, that there was part of a winding exposed, but it doesn't look like it, I think it was probably because um, of the short in one of those if you remember me uh, saying the last video or whatever video it was on the checkout one of the power tubes was or the output tubes was shorted um, I don't know if it was a plate short or whatever could have caused this right here um, uh, before it decided to go open or do whatever it did or somebody turned it off before it was cooked um, but it it could have very very well stressed this uh, transformer out but we'll bring it up under power again once we get it cleaned up and the caps changed in the thing um, and uh, check the voltages on everything and make sure that they're up to snuff and nothing's really stressing I think we'll be okay um, there may not have been any damage done serious damage done to the transformer now I know what probably some might think is well why you go through and replace all the caps if the transformer might wind up being bad well it's not about the transformer because the transformer I can get so uh, it's the radio I'm concerned about and this thing is going back on the market so it needs a transformer if it needs a transformer so that's all I gotta say about that uh, we got the uh, the clamshell cleaned up and uh, we're going to take care of that eventually uh, but first we're going to let this cure up and everything and uh, and then we're going to flip it over and do some uh, capaci capacitor replacements so we'll see you on the, the, the next segment have a great evening thanks for watching